I'm Dr. Brian Terry, and I'd like to thank you for checking out the update for the week ending March 23rd. On Monday, I passed House Bill 2004, which authorizes the Department of Health to accept allegations of opioid abuse or diversion with their complaint intake line and set up whistleblower protections for those who provide information in good faith. Information is the key in fighting the opioid crisis, and this bill is a vital part of our General Assembly's effort on this issue. On Tuesday, the Governor's Budget Amendment was presented. He added an additional $5.2 million towards school safety, which will total $10 million. Of note, we have over 1,800 schools in Tennessee and many counties, and 60 percent of schools do not have SROs. Many school districts are either unable to financially afford SROs or they choose not to hire SROs. And while this budget amendment will help, it only sends about $70,000 per school district or less than $6,000 per school. On Wednesday, I spoke on House Bill 1249 and our Agriculture and Natural Resources Committee. When hearing about the potential sale of the Rutherford County landfill to Middle Point, one of the major concerns for me and my constituents is that wet sludge would be continued to be dumped in our community. Though TDEC informed me that if the sale went through, it would not be their intent to permit an expanded facility to accept wet sludge, I, nor we as a community, have that in writing. The bill was my attempt to address that issue. Unfortunately, with this issue coming up after the bill filing deadline and with committee closing, Senator Ketcher and I could not get our bill in proper working order to achieve our goals. However, we did make the committee and the interested parties aware of our concerns. We, they have been put on notice. On Thursday, I co-sponsored and we passed House Bill 2262, which directs Title X funds to be prioritized to comprehensive primary care facilities for family planning. Of note, Planned Parenthood is on record stating via a letter to our committee that they do not provide comprehensive care. As always, I'm humbled and honored to be your state representative. With liberty, I'm Dr. Brian Terry.